Hey, Mike here. I've been looking for solutions that allow me to track all of the text that I consume on a daily basis. I stumbled upon Omnivore, which is a complete open source read it later solution for people who like text, aka myself and probably you. Yeah, yeah, it has all of these features, but for me, the most important feature is, oops, right here, Obsidian support via the Obsidian plugin. An equally amazing feature of it is that it is open source, fully open source for that matter. You can fork it, extend it, deploy it on your own server. Now this is their main website. They do have a learn more link here. It's certainly not as nice as, for example, the Readwise website, but I think it will do just fine for now. Now in your case, you are going to want to sign up, but in my case, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. The moment you log in, you are hit with a pretty easy to understand user interface. Now I don't have anything saved yet, Yet, so let's get to that first. To install the plugin, you're just going to go into this little button here and hit install. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome and let's add it to Chrome here. Cool. Now we have the little omnivore icon. And now let's test it out. So I am on my own website here, systemsculpt.com. Let's take a look at, for example, this latest blog post. And now let's activate the little plugin. It shows a little green check mark and it goes away. And now I wonder what happens if I, for example, select this text. So nothing automatically happens, unlike in Readwise. Let's see what happens if I right click. It does say I can create a highlight and save it to Omnivore. So let's do that. And there you go. It has a little green check mark, but it goes away, unfortunately. Let's hop into the options and see if we can change things around. Perfect. So we can disable auto dismiss. Let's do that. So now if I click the little icon, it will keep it here, hopefully. Now one downside right off the bat is that I can't move this little window here. So as you can see, it's getting in the way of all of the other buttons here. Anyway, let's go back into the extension settings here. Let's make sure that we get an API key. And here we can create an API key and have it never expire. Now we can just paste it in and click save. API key saved. Now before I go any further there, I'm going to now install it all here in Obsidian. So I'm going to hop into settings, browse the community plugins, of course, and type in Omnivore. Let's get this downloaded. Install, and let's enable it and hop into the options. Again, here we are going to put in that same API key. For now, I'm just going to keep all of these settings the default because I do want to see what we're working with first and then change to my own preferences. The only thing I'll change here is the frequency. For now, I'm just going to set it to one minute. All right, so now we just kick back and wait until one minute passes so then we can see what is synced. And there we go. We just got this directory made for us. Let's open it up. That's today's date, so that's correct. And there is the note. There's the title. That's what it looks like. It does show us our highlights for this specific article. The title of this specific markdown document is actually the title that's found within the web browser. And it's displayed here yet again. So it shows the title two times. Nice little hashtag omnivore. And you can choose to read either the original, which is on the System Sculpt website, or, for example, using the Omnivore app, it'll give you a readme type of easy way to read it. Let's check it out, actually. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you choose to read it through the Omnivore app. So it shows you which section you've highlighted. It actually does the code blocks just fine. So it handles Markdown pretty well. Now, again, keep in mind, all of this, because it's open source, if you know a little bit about programming, you can really customize this to look and feel and work however works best for you. You're able to add labels, which personally I don't really deal with labels. You have a little notebook here on the side. That's nice. And this lets you edit the metadata, basically, of this article. And of course, this looks like a trash can, so that means this trashes this specific article, and this archives it. I like how it mentions that it is a three-minute read. That's nice to have. So yeah, that was a pretty easy integration. Makes a lot of sense. All you really need is the API key that you generate for your specific account. You connect it to the web browser extension settings, and of course, the Obsidian settings of Omnivore. You also have this little icon here. I'm not sure what it does. Oh, so that's basically just a manual way of syncing. By the way, this version that you're seeing right here, I'm by default in source mode whenever I open up a note on my Obsidian app. So if you want to see what it looks like in normal edit mode, this is what it would look like. I think it looks pretty good, pretty clean. Now again, probably in the next video or maybe the video after that, I will dive deeper into creating a really nice, aesthetic, useful article template that will really, really extend upon this because 
wonderfully here, we have a reference that we can go to and make sure that we are using all of the appropriate syntax to its greatest useful extent. As always, thank you all so much for watching. A huge special thanks to all of the System Sculpt Patreon members. Let me know if you have any follow-up questions in the comments below, and I will see you again tomorrow.